Now we have another stock that's way on the downside, and that would be Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Very. Cl is, I don't know whether that's a new low. Or that not. is it's a new low. Close. It's what, a new all-time low. They had earnings report after the bell yesterday, mm -hmm. and user growth was completely flat. That means they stayed the same as the last three-month period at 320 million monthly active people using Twitter. And so what we're learning here is they're also providing not a great outlook for what's going to happen this quarter in terms of making money and ad revenue. But the CEO, Jack Dorsey, on the call last night telling all of us, don't worry, we are reverting back to higher user growth for the current quarter as of the end of January. He kept repeating that. It is a concern because he has now been in place since last summer, and the stock has just <laughs> got tanked. down. The yeah. chart looks awful. That's yeah. true. Yeah, definitely. How about Zynga? Um, I mean, oh, 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 oh. We're putting it on death watch. You the it's down 15 percent of the buck. AD. Remember, Zynga's the phantom pigs people on Death Watch today. Nicole, tell us all about it. Listen, we see the Grim Reaper there down 15%. New all-time low for Zynga. And despite the fact that they've done well with two games, Words with Friends and Slots, the truth of the matter is they are bleeding for users here. The monthly active users fell 30% to 68 million. They have 10 Ooh. new games in 2016, but I'm not sure that that's going to help. We'll have to see. Dawn of the Titans. And I will note, number one loser in the S&P 500 is is Mylan Labs, a weak quarterly number, also making an acquisition for over $7 billion of Meta, that's generic drugs, but that is number one loser. That's down about 15% in the S&P 500. Yeah, number one loser, down 15%, yes. a name like Mylan Labs, good heavens. Look at that, down, at, yeah, you're right, down 15% at 42 for Mylan Labs. All right, uh, Ash, which stocks are you looking at in well, particular? Well, I'm looking at one in particular. We haven't mentioned coal, talking about not such coal. great news. Coal, BTU, Peabody, <laughs> Peabody Energy. This is ugly. Down 22%, even though the Supreme Court said, "Hang on, on President Obama's clean air uh, program, and uh, whether you know they can go ahead and make these moves that essentially would be the death knell yeah. for, for for coal uh, uh, companies." Um, look, they just put out their results. They're terrible. They call the current environment brutal. Uh, coal production is going down year over year by a large percentage, 40%. That used to be how much coal contributed to national. Electricity is now down to 34% and continues to drop year to year. So and down goes Peabody. Down goes Peabody. Ouch. That's terrible. Not easy. Joe, what do you got for us? Which I'm stock? watching the tech bellwether Cisco. And this is the large cap tech company. It's up 8% right now. It's seeing this nice pop. Yesterday they reported their earnings and they saw demand and companies buying security products, routers. So all of that gloom and doom about companies not spending on the tech side, that may not be necessarily true. They're forecasting some growth of 1% to 4% in this current quarter. That's not blockbuster, but it's also not bad. So <laughs> right. we're looking at this beating expectations, Cisco having a nice day right now. How about